Hey guys, what's up? My name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having an awesome day wherever you are. And today's video is going to be something you guys requested and I'm super excited to do. So today we are talking about how to install hair extensions yourself at home without having to pay for someone else to do it and how to remove the tapes. So if these are extensions you previously used and you want to get the tape sticky again, I'm going to show you how to do that. So without any further ado, let's jump into the video. Alright guys, before we get started, I put a video every single freaking day, literally every day, so if you want to click subscribe, I'd appreciate it, we could be friends. So, today I have some VP extensions, oh my gosh, you guys know I've used this company before when I did that ponytail video, the ponytail extension, and I dyed it myself, and it was super cool, and I really love that ponytail, I wear it so many times already. Like, I love this a little bit fluffier because I didn't straighten it, I love the color because I custom dyed it myself. And also, when I go to job interviews, I wear that ponytail because, like, short hair is fun and everything, but putting everything back in a ponytail long, pretty straight hair seems way more professional to me. So, like, I like using it for that, or if I want to dress up, I'll put the ponytail on and feel super cute. But today we have some hair extensions. Most of the time, 99.999% of the time, this is what my hair looks like. This is my real hair. It is super, super thin. Now you guys are gonna, probably going to come at me like, that's because you dye your hair all the time. That's because you, because of this, this, this. And I'm sorry if the audio is bad in this video. There's like a window right here and it's windy is, I don't even know today. But it's not because I dye my hair all the time. My hair is so thin. Like it is super fine and thin. Like that's it. Both of my parents have thin hair. My mom has extremely thin hair. Like, the entire time I was growing up, her hair was super, super thin. Um, my dad's hair was very thin, too, and it started fading as he got older. So, just genetically, I have, like, paper fine hair. <laughs> so, that's why when I grow a haircut out, it's pretty obvious. So, I want to add volume today with these extensions. I'm super excited. <laughs> now, most people add extensions for the length. If you want to add a length, it's super fine. I did a hair extension video a couple weeks ago. I'll link that down below, too. But... These are going to be kept in more than a couple days. <laughs> I think I kept this hair extension in for four days last time because I didn't apply them correctly. I didn't know much about them. And I was just really frustrated because I had to take time to dye them and dry them and reapply tapes and all that. But today we have some VP extensions and they are custom dyed to me. That is so amazing. And they smell really good too. So these are the extensions that is a perfect match for me. Like, yeah, they're a little more pink, but, like, give my hair one wash, the more pink comes out of it. I'm so excited. Look how pretty. Oh, my gosh. They're so beautiful. So, the hair comes in. It's very strong feeling. Um, since they are custom dyed, they're not, like, you know, straight, perfect, beautiful. But these look so good. They feel sturdy, strong. I love the color. Doesn't that look like me, you guys? I'm so excited. So I'm going to add some volume to my hair today using these extensions. This also applies to if you want to add length. But if I just add volume, I don't really have to style my hair. I can wear it however I want and it'll still be beautiful. With long extensions, most of the time you want to kind of curl the bottom because you're going to be able to see the difference of where your hair stops and that begins. But if you curl it, you won't be able to see it as much. So that's a tip for that. Now today, since these are dyed, when they are dyed, you want to replace the tapes because when you dye it and wash it, the tapes get kind of wet. So you want to reapply your tapes. So I'm going to take this bundle off and I'm going to show you how to change the tapes on your extensions before we start installing them. Okay, so before we get started removing the um, tape, I want to say that all you need is a pair of tweezers and if you have some like really finicky, not good quality hair extensions, I would suggest some remover too, hair extension remover. But since these are really good quality, I've had no problem taking about half the tapes off already. So what you're going to see is you're going to see your tape and it could be a little bit crinkled and it could be a little bit discolored because of it being dyed or cleaned or wet in any way. What you're going to do is take a pair of tweezers and just take it onto the tape here and peel it up. Now, sometimes the sticky part of the tape may not come up with it. You can just take your tweezers and it should come off in like one strip. So you get the tape paper and you get the glue off in one swipe 
And after that, there should be no stickiness and it should look like this, nice and clean, which takes no time at all. Now to apply a new pack of extensions, just um, get a pack of these. I recommend getting them from VP Fashion. They have really good tapes, but I mean, tape is tape, I guess. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open a pack of tapes. This pack you get 120 pieces, which is like good because I do not have 120 pieces of hair extensions, which means I can use these plenty of times. You get a ton of these. So I'm gonna take a packet. I'm gonna do is take my extensions again and I'm gonna peel up one of these and make sure you take the paper and the tape together. Like take it together. If you leave the stickiness behind, this is like not gonna make a difference. And I'm gonna take that piece of hair that I just took the tape off of. I'm gonna find the right side that you want to tape. So you're gonna put the tape on the smooth side where the strands are is not gonna where you put the tape. You can see where the strands attach on this side of it. And then you have the smooth side. I'm gonna attach this to the smooth side and we're gonna put the stickiness down onto the piece of hair. Now I'm gonna use my fingers for this because I'm not very good with tweezers, but tweezers for most people are pretty easy to use. I'm not most people. And I'm just gonna stick that onto the hair and kind of squeeze it together. And then you have a new piece of hair extension ready to peel this tape off and apply it to your hair. So we started off with a worn out tape. We cleaned it off, went to a no tape, and now we have a new tape up here. I can just peel this paper off and attach them to my hair. So that is how you change the tapes on them. I'm going to change all these tapes now and then we'll get started with application. Okay guys, so I am back and I have all of my tapes exchanged and we have new tapes. I used three sheets of these, but I still have a ton of sheets left. So uh, I got these days now. So. I want to point out that this did come with a cute carrying case so after you're done using your extensions you can store them away and they will not get damaged which is something my last extensions didn't have they didn't have anything to put them in so I threw them in a box which is like not the best way to store extensions but I really did enjoy the last extensions like I'm I really did it was my first time trying them but I've noticed that these are a lot more full they're not quite as thin as the last one so I feel like I would be able to get a lot of volume out of here and I'm like I'm excited now, a couple of these things that I point out will be just preference when I'm applying these extensions. Completely up to you what you want to do. I recommend if you have medium to thicker hair, start in the back if you're going for length. Please start in the back. Um, because a lot of the times you pull your hair back, you want most of the thickness in the back of the head. Because most of the time a lot of people have layers in the front and it's okay it's a little thinner in the front. However, I am just going for fullness so I'm going to start on these sides of my hair. It's easier for me to show you. Now as far as how you apply these to yourself when you can't see the back of your own head is have a mirror in front of you and then have one semi catacordered so you can see yourself here and you'll see on the back of your head. So have a little angle set up. Please do not like feel and guess how to pinch sandwiches in the back of your head. That's what I did last time. It's a big reason I started taking them out super, super fast after putting them in because the sandwiches did not line up. And what I mean by sandwiches is you take two hair extensions so we have two pieces here. You peel the tape off of one, you put it on the side of your hair, and you pinch these two pieces together. Makes a little sandwich. Put the two sticky sides together, pinch them together. You want to do it as close to the root as possible. Your hair is going to grow as you have them in for a couple weeks, and you don't want them to be like down here and then grow down here and you won't see it. Please put them as close to the root as possible. Um, another thing, I personally have to have my hair pulled back like half the day. I have these stupid little bangs, so I don't want any extensions closer than right here on my head. So like right behind my ear, I don't want extensions anywhere from here. So I'm gonna take a comb. We're gonna put in our first extension. I'm gonna do a couple on camera with you and then the most of them I'm gonna apply um, by myself because I need to be able to have a good mirror set up where I can see myself. So let's say I'm gonna start, let's do this again. Right here. Ooh. 
So I'm going to pull my hair up. I'm going to section it off so I can get a good piece of hair that I want to start attaching. Hair is out of the way and it's not cute, but we can see. Oh my gosh, let me fix this. But we can see my hair here. So I'm going to take this little comb again and I'm going to make sure... We have a piece of hair that I'm going to attach it to. Make sure that this is an under layer of your hair and you're not going to be able to see it after you flop this hair back down because you don't want to see your tracks. And I'm going to take the paper off of the extension. Here we go. Just tape. And I'm going to stick it underneath of the piece of hair. Put the hair down. So now I have this one piece in and I have to sandwich the other one together. Hopefully you can see that because I can't. And I'm going to take the tape off the other one. And we're just going to sandwich those two pieces together. Now if you don't know um, if these are going to hold for you or if you don't know what kind of tapes you have, you can apply heat to the tapes to make them really just kind of join together. I don't think I need that for these. And I'm going to find the underside of that piece of hair we just did where the extension is. Hold it up. And we're going to apply this to the top of it. Now please make sure you do this in an area that you can see. Obviously this is kind of a tough spot for me to see myself. But take your time and align these perfectly because if you don't, it will pull at your hair. Which is why I took mine out, my extensions out last time. They weren't aligned perfectly so they pulled at my head when I laid on it. But you can see here we have our extension sandwich. And now we have some extra length to my hair, which I think I might chop off. I don't know. But we have our first extension in. Now I'm going to try to, I don't know if you can see that, so I'm going to do a different side of my hair now. But generally, do it by section. Do like one side, one side, or the back. I definitely recommend starting off with the back if you're going for volume. I mean, length. So I'm going to do one on this side now. Don't start off doing the very top of your head because the top of your head, you're going to see the tracks as you go down if you start off too tall or too close to the face. So let's find a good spot. Let's try this again. Make sure I can still put my hair back behind the ear. I really like that I didn't feel that tracked over here when I put my headband on. Because that was a huge problem with my extensions last time is I just could not put my headband on and I cannot do my makeup without my hair pulled back. My hair is so thin that this clip doesn't even want to stay, it just wants to fall out. And so again, we have some hair. Also excuse my roots. I did bleach the top of my roots, but I didn't go throughout my entire head and bleach them. You want to do these as straight as possible. A professional will tell you get them like perfectly straight. But as long as they're in a place you can't see, you should be okay. Just try not to do too many different layers of your hair at once. Like if I did a layer up here, I did a layer down here. It's not going to be a good fit for this. But there I have one piece in. It's really crooked, but I'm following the lines of my head right now. And I'm just going to sandwich the other piece on top of it. So you lift up, feel the beginning of the tract, because you can't see it when hair is covering it. And I definitely want these to be perfect. Now, when you lay down at night, you can braid your extensions or do whatever you want to do with them. But if you have them and they're not perfectly sandwiched, the exposed tape on whatever end isn't aligned is going to pull at your hair and it's very painful. So make sure you align them perfectly. And there we have one tracked in the back of the head there. So I'm going to go 
I'm going to apply these to the rest of my hair and then we'll talk about it and I'll see what I think of these extensions, how they performed and what they look like. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, I am back and I have the extensions in. First of all, these are super soft and I just feel so gorgeous. Like face not my, my nubby, but like when I was watching myself do it, like I felt so pretty. This makes me feel so luxurious and fancy, you know? Um, so you can of course see my real hair, but if I curled this, I'm pretty sure I can get away with not adding anything else and just wearing these as they are, like pretending this is my real hair. The volume it gave me in the back is so nice. Normally my head would be like these, and now it has like a little bit extra poof to it, but it's not something crazy where it looks so fake or it looks super crazy. But if you wanted to add another pack and get like a ton, a ton of volume, you totally could. I tried not to put them too close to the scalp so that you can't see them. And then like I did a little dance party and moved my hair around and made sure you couldn't see any tracks. So if it gets stuck in the weather, you wouldn't see them. So I didn't do them very tall. I think my highest one is right here. And I'm very happy with it. So let's show you the back. I'm very, very happy with these. Now a rule of thumb when applying them, make sure that they are comfortable. I cannot currently feel these on my head, even though there's 40 pieces on my head. Um, because when I put them in, let's find one. Okay, so you see one. Make sure that you can, there's no other hairs from another row of hair touching it or in the stuck in the tape. Make sure you can like flip it up and down and it doesn't hurt or you can like pull at it and move it around and it doesn't hurt. That means there's no extra hair from a different like row of hairs in it. So it's all nice and comfy and pretty. And I laid down and it doesn't hurt back there, which is great, which means I did a better job this time. It took me about an hour to apply all of the hair extensions, but I just put on some music and kind of enjoyed myself. It's kind of relaxing after a little bit, honestly. And I am super happy with these results. I think I might curl it and leave it this length or maybe add a few more to get a little bit extra volume in the back, but I'm super happy. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more from me, I put a video every single freaking day. And if you want some of these hair extensions, I'll leave all the information, all of the links down below for you. There is a coupon code down there for you too. I don't get any money from it. It's just for you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye.